So what does the crisis in Cyprus mean for the U.S. economy, the markets, and American investors? For some answers, we turn to Mohamed El Arian. He's the CEO of PIMCO, the world's largest bond fund. When I talked with him a short while ago, I asked him if the situation in Cyprus is a unique, isolated problem, or is it a serious issue for the U.S.? It is mainly unique to Europe and to Cyprus in the sense that Cyprus has a very large banking system and there's no other way they can raise money. The reason why it's relevant to us, Susie, it's because it is disrupting a certain conventional wisdom, which is that deposits are sacred, insured deposits are sacred. And what the Europeans decided this weekend is that that's no longer the case. Well, absolutely, Mohammed. I mean, that's what a lot of people here were thinking about. It raises questions at whether your bank deposits, can you trust bank insurance, uh, even though this problem is all the way in Cyprus? What can you tell people at home tonight? I would say there's no fear in the case of the United States. There is no fear that the FDIC insurance is not going to apply. I think that what's happening in Cyprus is very special to Cyprus. However, we may f feel the spillover in a different way. What's going to happen now is that unless they fix the blunders, as they call them, the mistakes, these are the words that are being used right now within Europe, unless they fix that, there's a chance that there will be an outflow of deposits in Cyprus when the banks reopen on Thursday. So what impact would that have on the U.S.? What impact does all of this uh, stuff that's going on in Europe and in Cyprus have on the U.S. economic recovery? Could it derail it? I don't think it derails it. I think it's an additional headwind. So Europe is, after all, the biggest economic zone. So the, the sicker Europe gets, the more headwinds we get. Now, the good news, and this is really important for us, is that we have internally some endogenous healing. We are getting better as an economy. And secondly, the Federal Reserve is very committed right now to buying time for our politicians to get their act together. So I think that this is a headwind, but I do not see it as something that would derail our recovery. What about the global economy? What about the global financial system? What risk is there uh, to that because of this Cyprus situation? This is a big worry for so many people. So the risk scenario, and I stress it's a risk scenario, not a baseline, is that the Cypriots are so upset that you get both political disorder and social unrest. And that increases the chance of Cyprus exiting the Eurozone. And if they exit the Eurozone, you reopen all these questions that were put aside in July by the very aggressive intervention of the European Central Bank. So that is the risk that unless they find a solution and unless they exempt the small savers from this levy, that you may get social disorder and political disorder. Let's bring it here to the U.S. and the U.S. stock market. We've had a nice market rally. Uh, could this situation uh, disrupt the, the market rally here? And for American investors, is this a time, an opportunity to get in, or is there more turmoil ahead? What do you think? Well, so far, we've shrugged off the, this element for three reasons. One is the Europeans have realized that they've made a mistake and they're trying to find a way out. It's not going to be easy, but they're trying. Second, there's the view that our markets will become more attractive because Europe once again has a question mark. And third, let's not forget what's going well here. So the reason why we in the United States have shrugged off the Cyprus news today is because of these things. So I would say that, but do not, do not forget that we are in an overbought situation. So we have come a very long way, well beyond the fundamentals. So I wouldn't say this is a buying opportunity. I say this is a reminder that we are subject to these political shocks from outside.